Watford 1, Manchester United 2. Match reaction here, Sam from United People's TV. Man United, a tough, tough three points there today at Vicarage Road. A, a stadium where, in the last few years, Man United have had some exciting games. And today was an exciting game. Lukaku got us started in that first half. Arguably, Man United's best 45 minutes of the season so far. And for me, our best 45 minutes. Not only were we in complete control of the game, but we scored and we dominated that first half against a team where Watford, let's not forget, they won four out of four games going into this. Three of those were at home. Watford were a team flying high, but Man United nullified that threat in that first half. We were in complete control. Possession was good. The ball movement, everything was good for Manchester United in that first half. And Lukaku made all the difference with that first goal. And then Chris Smalling came up, one of the best goals you're ever going to see from a centre-back. Controlled it on his chest, pumped it in with a volley that Zinedine Zidane would have been proud of. It looked like his goal against Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League final all those years ago. But Manchester United really were fantastic today against a Watford team who going into it would have been bang up for it. They were in the first half at least, but let's look at the second half as well. The game changed. Manchester United's intensity dropped. Watford came back into the game. And it felt effectively inevitable when Gray got one back for Watford. And after that point, it was squeaky bum time. United did hold on for the result, but it wasn't the sort of 20, 30 minutes you wanted to see from United at the end. You wanted to see us still in control and in possession and just sort of playing the game out instead of letting Watford back in it. We let Watford back in it, but we held on, thanks in no small part to David De Gea. Can we please talk about David De Gea? You know, so much has been said about his season so far. It hasn't been as good as he's been in the last four or five years. But right fucking there is exactly why no United fan is saying a bean about David De Gea. Pulled out a wonderful save at the end. People are going to say, ah, oh, you know, you should, have made, you should have made that save. He makes saves look simple because he's in the right position. Because his shot stopping is so good. David De Gea, that was a fantastic top draw save right at the death. That saved United two points. And he's been there at so many points, at so many clutch moments over the years, that keeping David De Gea at this club is the one sole fantastic bit of transfer business we've done since Fergie retired. But building on the performance itself, you know, you're looking at Chris Smalling, Troy Deeney and Andre Gray, and Watford themselves with Holabas sending balls in, Decore and Capoue coming in from midfield, the amount of goals that they scored from set pieces, you look at how they beat Spurs. United went in there with a game plan today. We knew exactly how and how we're going to try and nullify Watford. And we did do that, especially in the first half. Second half, as I said, they came back into it. But because we gave ourselves that two-goal cushion, it allowed ourselves to sit back. We got a little bit complacent in that second half, but it wasn't enough to change the result of the game. And I think Chris Smalling did it brilliantly well up against Deeney, and Gray, especially for the fact that he's got that goal up the other end as well. But Fellaini, he did the job. Fellaini was brought into that starting eleven, just like he was against Burnley, up against a physical team that likes to play physical. And he did the job today. You know, Fellaini was a, a considered a doubt before the, before the game going into it, but you knew that Jose Mourinho wanted him in that team. And you saw exactly why with that performance against Watford. I still will never agree with... Marouane Fellaini is starting as a central midfielder for Manchester United. But you can understand why he gets used in certain games on certain occasions. I would still rather not see him start in central midfield. I'll be perfectly honest. But he did the job again today against Watford. You know, when he was winning the balls, he was beating Deeney, he was beating Kapua and Decore. And when he wasn't winning the ball, Smalling was there to clean up anyway. It was a good defensive situation that Man United got themselves into today. Ashley Young did a job at left back without Luke Shaw. His crosses were dangerous and Ashley Young is Ashley Young. You know exactly what you're getting from him. Jesse Lingard, good movement. Alexis Sanchez, questionable performance again for me. As far as I'm concerned, bit muted, in and out of the game, didn't do too much. Paul Pogba had a great game as far as I'm concerned. Great might be a bit strong, but Paul Pogba was there controlling the game. He might not have got an assist, he might not have got a goal, which is what everyone's going to be fucking trying to look for. But I watched the full 90 minutes. I saw Paul Pogba look for the ball, bring the ball, always be in space, short passes. Yes, a few of his passes went wayward, but Paul Pogba was all, for me, in the right position the majority of the time today and just doing a very behind-the-scenes central midfielder job, which is what he should be doing first and foremost every single week. So for me, 
well done, Paul Pogba. That was a good performance, especially after everything that's been said in the international break and everything people expected of you going into this game. But Romelu Lukaku came up with a goal again. Seven goals in seven games for club and country so far this season. He's now scored more goals than Didier Drogba in the Premier League. Well done. Right place, right time for that first goal. Chris Smalling, we needed that. But we all overall just needed the win, didn't we? You know, in the same, same vein that Spurs go and lose to Liverpool the week after they lose to Watford, Pochettino's now lost two games in a row. I wonder if the press is going to ask if he's going to get sacked. Probably fucking not. But Man United now, we've, we've come away from that Spurs defeat, which was a dismal defeat following the Brighton game. We've followed that up with wins against Burnley. Tough. Wins against, a win against Watford. Even tougher. And we can now go into this young boys game in the Champions League with a bit of confidence. You saw United in that first half, the best football we've played this season as a team. Yes, we played brilliantly in the first half against Spurs. We didn't fucking score a goal. Today against Watford, we were in complete control. 2-0 was a fair, fair result going into that half-time whistle. And it could have been more. Ben Foster made a good few saves in that first half. That's what you want to see. You saw how much it meant to Jose Mourinho with his celebration after, I think, a Smalling's goal. Both goals. I don't know. But United, now four points behind City. It's still early doors in the season. And City and Liverpool still look a cut above the rest of the Premier League. But we're only four points behind Man City. It's not been a completely terrible start to the season. And we buried that Spurs defeat with back-to-back -back wins against Burnley and now Watford. How is everyone feeling about the game? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you're new to United People's TV, subscribe. Come on. Hit that subscribe button down below. As always, take it easy though.